In this video we'll demonstrate the new signature capture control that allows you to put a control on a UX component to capture a signature and then store the signature in a uh, database table so that uh, the signature can be uh, displayed uh, as you navigate through the records that the UX component is bound to. So you can see uh, right now we have a simple um, UX component that just has three controls, an ID, name, and then a signature. And as I navigate from the first record to the second record, you can see that I'm seeing the signatures that uh, were entered. So let's go now and enter a new record. So I'll go here and type in, um, say, um, uh, uh, Harry Minor. And now basically you can see what's displayed over here is the signature capture uh, area and I can go here and type in my signature will actually sign my signature so I'm simulating using the mouse uh, but on a mobile device my uh, uh, finger would be uh, the uh, way in which I would sign the control so here's my uh, signature and then I click the accept button to accept the signature and now we can see the signature is displayed and then I can go ahead now and submit the record. So when I submit the record, uh, this value will be entered into the table and then this uh, bitmap will be stored in the uh, database. I'll go ahead now and click the Submit button. And you can see since I've turned debugging on, we can see that the insert did an insert into the um, name field and then it inserted binary data into the uh, SIG underbar PNG field. So now if I go back to say my first record, there's the uh, first record signature, there's the second record, and then there's the signature for the third record that I, um, that I uh, entered. So right now um, we're in signature display mode, which means that we're actually displaying an image control here that is displaying the signature. Uh, and you can see that I can't actually um, draw anything else now. But if I click on the uh, sign button, then we're going to actually toggle from an image control here to a canvas control, which is where I can go here and replace that signature with the new signature. So Harry M. Now if I change my mind and I decide I don't want the signature, I can hit cancel, in which case I'll go back to whatever was there. But if I go back now and type in Harry and then uh, M and then hit the accept button. That's now been accepted as the signature and then you can see that the record has gone dirty and then I can go ahead now and click the uh, submit button. So let's go back now to design mode and see how this was done. So first we'll go and look at our data binding. So we're bound to a MySQL table over here and if we look at the structure of this MySQL table we can see that we have an ID field that's just our auto increment field we have a name and then we have the signature PNG field which is just a long blob uh, so it's a, a, a long binary field and then um, then if we go look at our controls we can see that we have an ID control a name control and then we have a signature capture control which is displayed here in the list of available data controls. So there's signature capture and this is the um, control that uh, is used to capture the signature. So if we go back to our data binding section and look at uh, which controls are bound to the various fields in the table, we can see that ID is bound to the ID field, name is bound to the name field, and the signature capture control is bound to the SIG underbar PNG uh, binary field. So now let's uh, go back to controls and take a look at the properties of the signature capture control. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing our uh, video on the new signature capture control which allows you to capture signatures and then store them in a database. And we're looking now at the properties that the signature capture control exposes. So the signature capture control has an outer container which uh, goes around the, um, the actual uh, canvas control where the signature is displayed and the image control where the signature uh, uh, is displayed after it's been uh, entered. And uh, also the outer container contains the buttons. So if we go here, we can see that right now there's the sign button and then here's the uh, cancel, clear and accept buttons. So the outer container 
contains everything. So let's actually just go and put an, a, um, a, a style on the outer container so we can actually see where it is. So I'll just go here and type in um, border uh, solid one pixel red. So now if I go back to working preview I can see that the uh, red border now goes around both the um, the uh, uh, signature capture area and also the buttons and uh, separate the uh, outer control and has separate uh, height and width properties from the signature capture area so the area where you actually uh, can enter the signature which is this area here is called the signature capture area so let's go back here so you can see here that we've set the outer container height and width to be 300 by 500 but the signature capture area inside that uh, is 200 by 400 right now. So the signature capture area itself um, uh, does not support uh, percentage uh, height and widths and the reason that it doesn't support percentage height and widths is that um, uh, when on a mobile device if you do an orientation change you don't want the signature capture area to change inside in size otherwise it'll distort the signatures. Um, a signature that was captured when you were in landscape mode would look different when you switch to portrait mode and that doesn't make any sense. So you definitely want um, a fixed size area for the signature capture area. On the other hand the outer container here can support uh, percentage height and width. So in addition to those properties you can set the uh, color of the pen uh, where the signature is captured and you can also set the stroke width. You can set a background color on the signature capture area. You can specify whether the um, buttons are displayed above, below, left or right. So let's go here for example and change it to left. You can control the uh, labels on the button themselves and you can turn the buttons off if you want to uh, write your own JavaScript uh, to toggle um, between capture mode and display mode etc. So right now let's go and see what happens when we uh, um, have buttons left aligned. So yeah you can see that basically. Oops, what did I just do over there? Button placement. Let's change that. Oh, um, let's just pause here. Okay so we have the buttons left aligned but when we go here uh, we can see that the buttons they in fact are left aligned but we would have expected this canvas to show on the right over here and the reason that it's not showing is that there's not enough space we need to actually make this outer container a little bit bigger so let's go back to the outer container width and change that to say 600 pixels now now if we go to width we can see that the buttons in fact are um, left aligned so that's left aligned so we have buttons can be above below left or, or um, right and then uh, the actual signature capture area can be left aligned center aligned or right aligned so let's go back now to the signature capture area and uh, change the alignment over there from um, let's see where is it um, Okay, so let's go here and change that to uh, right align and now go over to working preview and now we can see that we've right aligned the signature capture area within the outer frame. So what we've shown in this video is how you can easily add a signature capture control to the UX component to capture signatures as PNG images that get stored in the database that the component is bound to. Thank you very much for watching.